Ooh, I like the logo Hello, intro. Everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. Hi, Amber. I'm Tyler. We're Hi, Tyler. With more indie games coming to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, let's yeah. get. Uh, that was, was a cat. Oh, Fist of Fluffs too. Hey, Micah, you ready to get started? Yep. Pip's here. Hello. <gasps> oh, it's a cat. Oh, Pip, you have a filter on. What? Oh. I don't think anybody's going to notice. Let's go. You're a curious little kitty. You're a in kitty. A city. You were taking a nap in your favorite spot. Oh, no. You fell and now you're You lost. went in the trash. Talk about a near catastrophe. In this adorable adventure, you'll navigate Why did I think this was already on home. the Switch? There's plenty to do along the way. Like... Check your to-do list. Some of the <gasps> city's animals list. have found themselves in hairy situations. Become an artist? Wait, hand. how do you do uh, that? Paw. Maybe you just, like, stick your paw in the paint? Shiny. Another might be stuck in a pipe. There are also cat achievements. <laughs> He's complete. stuck in a pipe, Get why? By humans, knock things over, you know? This is Untitled Goose though. Game, officially. Oh. We didn't mention kitty customization. Collect and wear over 40 pretty nifty hats, like a ladybug, a shark, the hedgehog. and even a bunny. Where's the hedgehog? Oh, there's an you apple. There's corn. <laughs> emotes whenever you want. Oh, that's a big Wait, stretch. I love the traffic cone. It's a great way to look cute while stirring up some mischief. This is Get actually Untitled to Goose to Game, closet. but like cat yeah. edition. Little kitty, big city. Oh, it's Cats coming out a couple weeks. Sweet. Switch, I thought that was already on the Switch. That's kind of weird. Begin later today on Nintendo eShop. You ever get that feeling like you're meant for something more? That's been kind of my deal since forever. But now, something's changed. There's something powerful. River City Girls and Shantae? Wait. What is this? Kotek needs to be stopped. And I'm the one who can do it. She a fairy? Probably. That looks kind of interesting. Hey there. Here. Oh, this is the Oh, it kind of looks like Metroid, you which is funny. Handle, which you totally should. Join Wait, this is Zero Mission. Sci-fi <laughs> action adventure in Yars Rising, the newest game from WayForward and Atari. What started as your Wait, this looks amazing. Big spirals into a weird intergalactic conspiracy involving mega conglomerate Kotek. Help me run, jump, hack, and blast my way into unlocking the mysteries of this corporate empire in Yars Rising. Launching on the Nintendo Switch system later this year. Year, year. Sorry, I meant year. This looks pretty cool. I'm wishlisting this. I love art styles that look like this. A journey of self-discovery awaits in I'm this just exploration based obsessed with adventure. pixels. Take on the role of an android, the creation of a doctor who has since passed away. Every action you take and decision you make during your journey reveals a little more about who you are. And there are no right or wrong choices. Travel to places from your memories. Interact with other characters and that text piece together sound when the text is moving. The That's ASMR right there. I love the tap, 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 tap. At the end of your journey, your personality type will be revealed. With 23 personality types to discover, you can make different choices in each playthrough and see where they lead you. <laughs> I love how the clown's upside down. <laughs> active leader? What about a wise sage? Or even a strong willed samurai. Samurai. And if you're curious about the personality types of other players, you can share your results with each other and compare your choices. And so only? I love that text sound. It sounds so good. Find out who Wait, what you what are the bomb? In refined self. The personality test game. I'll check it out. As a timed console exclusive on Nintendo Switch this summer. We drew a dog from the small businesses and creators. <laughs> Zoom in on the dog. <laughs> this is a cute game. I love the interface. I love the UI. It's very cute. Again, I love pixels, so this is definitely my kind of art style. Choose from when creating your stickers. And you can get upgrades for even more options. 
Wow. I like these Cola, options. Ice cream, books, pizza. Why are they putting books in their ice cream? Oh, there's plenty more. Oh. <laughs> You can add effects like glitter and sparkles. Ooh. So combine whatever else Can we share them with people? You want to design your artistic adhesives. But no shop is complete without its customers. Each Ooh. one will ask for different stickers, and by fulfilling their requests, not only will you impress your customers, but you'll also learn more about their lives. From a music teacher striving to motivate her students to a dad who wants to cheer up his grieving child, each customer has a heartfelt story to share. That guy's a frog. <laughs> The plan with me paid DLC. There's DLC to this? Stories in that would be a bit much. Sticker elements, including habit trackers, washi tape, and frames. Get you can't get frames without DLC? Ever. In sticky business, both the game and DLC Available today, oh my. Console exclusives. Launching as a timed console exclusive on the Nintendo Switch system <clears throat> November 12th. A demo will be available later today on Nintendo It's coming out November 12th, but the demo's coming out now? First person adventure await. It's a cat. Cat Quest 3! What happened to Cat Quest 2? I only know about Cat Quest 1. I guess I wasn't keeping up. Fat rat. Pie rat. Whoa. This is where Master Splinter ended up. <laughs> this is the bad ending of Splintered Fate. Local co-op only. Do you guys like Cat Quest? Let me know in the comments below. I haven't heard many people talk about it. It's a hog. August 8th. Mark your calendars. Okay, so the numbers just show how many of those uh, shapes you can mode. fill. After completing a hoop, I was confused at first. I thought it was like color by number, but it's not. It to your liking. If a hoop wants a this game hoop seems unlocked, deceptively relaxing because it looks really hard. Like. Stitch launches as a console exclusive oh, today. On Nintendo Switch. I wonder why it's console today. exclusive. Before we go, let's take a quick look at a few more indie games heading to Nintendo Switch. Bzz. Wait, this looks super cute. This looks like an Elekhead sort of game. This reminds me of Elekhead a little bit. Is that a frog? Wait, that's so cool. You jump through the shot. That's a this is a really fun puzzle looking ish game. Like adventure platforming puzzle. Whoa. That's quite the CRT effect, man. This is interesting. Duck Detective the Secret Salami? What? By Happy Broccoli Games. Tear. Sad. <gasps> another crab's treasure! Yes! Shout out to another crab's treasure! Let's go! 